the Arsenicum trial, that essentially is an idea of Lucietta Betti from the University of Bologna. Uh, that was one of the um, ideas we had because one problem of homeopathic basic e research is that there are many trials published but none of them is repeated. So there are many single interesting results but none of these models has been validated or only few models have been validated in external reproduction trials. And therefore we thought, yeah, because it's a quite a simple model, we took it in our lab and checked whether it worked also in our lab, yes or no. And this model is really very simple and it lends itself to a wider application in different countries. So it works like this, you uh, take a sheet of chromatography paper, you put a defined amount of clay on it and then you fix one single um, seed of wheat onto this clay. You then put this sheet of chromatography paper inside the plastic bag. You then soak the, the chromatography paper with the fluid you want to investigate. That is That may be a homeopathic potency of arsenic. In our case it was the 45th decimal potency. Or you choose um, different type of, control, of controls. In our case it was either unpotentized water or water potentized in the same way as the arsenic potency, so to the 45th decimal potency. And then you put these um, plastic bags with the chromatography paper inside, inside of a paper envelope. You punch them um, with a um, paper puncher and then you um, uh, hang them up on two metal rods. And then you can place one after the other of these plants within these plastic bags inside a cardboard box. And that's the way you can arrange a lot of seedlings within one experiment. So typically we had 450 of these different plastic bags with seedlings in it in one experiment. And then you let them grow in natural environment. And after seven days you harvest them. You take off the, the shoots of these wheat seedlings, you put them on a photocopying uh, apparatus, you make a, a photocopy of these, um, of these shoots, and then afterwards, that, by that means you can harvest them quite quickly because 450 seedlings is a lot way to do. If you, if you would measure them by hand, it would take much too long time. So in that way you can fix the the growth status in a very short time and you have time afterwards to digitalize the exact growth forms of the wheat shoots afterwards uh, by means of a digitizing tablet and adapted software. And then finally you take all the data, analyze them and look whether Arsenic 45 had an influence on the growth of, of the wheat seedlings compared to the controls. And uh, the, f the stunning um, result was the Italian group had observed that arsenic-45 led to an increase in growth after an arsenic poison, and that's something I forgot to mention before because that's obviously the most important point, that the wheat seeds were um, poisoned uh, with a sub-lethal dose of arsenic. So it's 0.1% arsenic solution that these wheat seeds are soaked in. And then the intention is to, to cure the arsenic seeds by, some, by the application of the homeopathic preparation. And the Italian group had observed that they had an increase in growth, about 25%, in length after application of the homeopathic potency compared to the water controls and we observed the opposite. So we observed a significant but we observed a decrease in growth in our model and we made 17 experiments one after the other and we always had the same result, we had a decrease. We tested several parameters in order to find out why we had observed a decrease and the Italians had, had observed an increase. But finally, until now, we do not know yet what has happened there. The point is that um, it's not an artifact, so it seems we have in 17 experiments a reproducible effect of this 
decreasing effect of the arsenic-45. And the Italians had an increasing effect. As far as I understood now at this conference, they, even, they, had, they have conducted more trials and they were able to confirm their increasing effects. So it's still an open question and I think in the future we will collaborate more on this question why we have this direction inversion effect. We change the personnel because it might be an influence of the personnel. We changed the person in charge of potentization and plant cultivation, but that didn't change anything. We moved with the person to the Italian lab and we made the experiments there, but we got still an inversion. Uh, then we changed the, the seed quality, uh, uh, so the seed batch and um, uh, the seed cultivar, because there are many different types of weeds around on the market and the original. Uh, um, cultivar that was used by the Italians was not available anymore and they themselves had changed so we got back on that and forth and but now no solution until now.